Hi boys and girls, it's Pastor Suzanne in Alaska with another Bible story for you today. Today we're going to talk about Abraham and how God asked him to do something that was kind of hard. But Abraham obeyed God and it's very important that we always learn to obey God. And when we do, it always works out best. So today we're going to learn about Abraham obeying God, and then we're going to learn about God answers a prayer. So are you ready? We have two stories. Let's begin. God had promised to give Abraham and Sarah a son, but years and years and years went by and Sarah still didn't have a baby. Then finally, when Abraham was 100 years old, a baby boy was born to them, and they named him Isaac. What a happy day it was when God's promise finally came true. One day when Isaac was a teenager, God told Abraham to go to Mount Moriah and sacrifice Isaac on an altar. What? How could Abraham kill his own dear son? But Abraham knew that he must do whatever God said. He knew that God could bring Isaac back to life again. So, there, look. I don't know. That's pretty scary. Shall we see what happens? So Abraham and Isaac traveled to Mount Moriah. And Abraham laid Isaac on the altar, and then he raised his knife to sacrifice the son that he loved so much. Well, suddenly, an angel of God shouted from heaven, Abraham, stop! The angel told Abraham not to hurt Isaac. He said that Abraham had proved that he loved God and would do whatever God told him to. And then Abraham saw a ram caught in the bushes by its horns. God had sent it there to use as a sacrifice instead of Isaac. Abraham killed the ram and burned it on the altar. And God was very pleased with Abraham for being willing to obey. Look, there he is, getting ready to sacrifice his son. That's pretty scary. But Abraham trusted God and he obeyed. And God provided a ram for the sacrifice instead of Isaac. So now we're going to look at another story, and it's called God Answers a Prayer. Well, Abraham sent his most trustworthy servant to find a wife for Isaac when Isaac got older. And he wanted a wife that Isaac would be sure and love. And she needed to love God too. How could the servant pick the right wife for Isaac? He asked God to help him, and God did. The servant decided to wait by the town's well, and when a girl came to the well for water, he would ask her for a drink, and if she was kind and also offered to water his thirsty camels, then he would know that she was just the right one. And that's just what happened when Rebecca came to the well. She drew water for him to drink and for his camels too. And then the servant thanked God for answering his prayer. And there's Rebecca with Isaac. See, God answers all kinds of prayers. We just have to ask and we have to trust him. And he does, especially when those prayers line up with what's in God's heart too. So boys and girls, I want to pray for us right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the lessons that you teach us through your word. Thank you how important it is for us to always obey you and to trust you and to love you most of all. And thank you that we can ask for things. We can bring the things that are on our heart to you and we can pray. And when they line up with your will, God, you always answer. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you would watch over these boys and girls today that are listening to this story, that they would learn to love you and to trust you, that you would keep them safe, that you would keep them healthy, and most importantly, that you would keep yourself in their hearts all the days of their life. We love you, Jesus. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed the story today. 
about Abraham and obeying God and also about God answering a prayer by bringing Isaac a wife. Until next time, this is Pastor Suzanne in Alaska saying I love you and God loves you very much and I'll be back real soon with another story from the Bible. Be good.